Welcome. My name is Madeline. I'm the owner of Basswood Beauty, a small skincare company. I love beauty, makeup, and small business content. That's what you'll find here on this channel. I also love bath care items. I love purchasing them, but I especially love making bath care products. Unfortunately, bath care hasn't been my best seller when it comes to my company. And since I'm always dreaming up new ideas I'd like to try making, I figured this would be the perfect place to share some very simple DIY bath care recipes with you. All these recipes are quite attainable with ingredients that you may already have on hand, but a few of these recipes are refined with ingredients that you may want to purchase but don't have to. We're going to start off by making some very simple bath melts. It's mainly one ingredient, which is cocoa butter, and these are a lovely moisturizing treat for your skin. And here I'm just starting off with a few crushed rose petals in the mold. As I said, these are made mostly with cocoa butter, which is a hydrating fat derived from cocoa beans, and it contains antioxidants that protect the skin from the environment. It also has the most amazing, lovely cocoa scent. I like to add a small amount of polysorbate 80, which is a solubilizer that helps the cocoa butter to evenly disperse and mix with the bath water. This way you aren't left with little pools of cocoa butter sitting on top of the water and you get an even coating of moisturization on your skin. So I like to add this ingredient. I think it's important, but I understand that it is sort of like a special ingredient. You don't have to have it. It just makes the whole experience a little bit nicer. I just absolutely love how these turn out in this little heart mold. I think they're so cute. I think that they would make a lovely gift. I just used all the jars that I had sitting around the house. Here I used a little spice jar that I had on hand. I also think if you put them in a little tin or plastic container, this would make a great thing to take with you on a trip or vacation or give it away as a gift because this would make the cutest little Valentine's gift or Mother's Day gift. I'm currently in my third trimester as I'm filming this and restless leg syndrome due to my low iron in this pregnancy has led me to explore absolutely every option to alleviate this discomfort. I found soaking my legs in Epsom salts each evening to be especially helpful. Dissolving Epsom salts in a bath are a great way to get them to absorb through the skin, replenishing the body's levels of magnesium. And then this in turn helps to relax the body, ease pain, and improve circulation. The same is true for pink Himalayan salt. It is full of minerals such as calcium, iron, magnesium, and potassium, and thus it provides the skin with similar benefits of Epsom salts by detoxifying, improving muscle and joint relaxation, mineral absorption, and decreased stress by increasing circulation. And then you also get better sleep due to the magnesium. I also added an essential oil blend from a local seller. It's a lovely calming scent and I just put a few drops in to lightly scent the salts. I then added a few whole rosebuds so that it would look not only beautiful and not have a bunch of little pieces of petals floating around because I like a clean bath and easy cleanup afterwards. So I opted for the whole rosebuds. Bath melts have been a favorite of mine for years now because they leave my skin so hydrated and refreshed. In this version, I wanted to eliminate any type of bag or cleanup, so I opted for all ground ingredients that would easily be mixed in the water. And coconut milk powder is the main ingredient for this milk as it has the most naturally lovely scent. And it nourishes the skin by combating dry, itchy skin and reducing inflammation. Absolutely love it. The essential fatty acids in coconut milk also help to hydrate and balance the skin's pH. I also love oatmeal 
in these mixes because it can be so moisturizing, soothing, and inflammation relieving for the skin. So I used colloidal oatmeal in this one because it's already like pre-ground and can easily mix into the water without leaving a big mess. Um, and it's also just a great treatment for dry, itchy skin and acts as a natural cleanser due to saponins in it. And then I threw in some sea salt and French pink clay for their gentle detoxifying benefits and skin enriching minerals. I always love a good sugar scrub. And this is something that both my daughters love to use as well. So we go through pretty quickly. I decided this time to try a recipe from Whole Elise. She has a YouTube and a website with DIY skincare. This one is an emulsified sugar scrub, which I have made versions of before. This one, uh, or this type of sugar scrub will mix with the water, creating a creamy lotion-like texture, leaving your skin smooth and silky and not oily or slippery at all. Now, I did not have the exact same emulsifying wax or oils that she used, so that could be why mine turned out quite oily. So I decided to add quite a bit more sugar, and I love how the texture turned out in the end. I actually tripled the amount of sugar, but ended up then with a more exfoliating product and a lot more product as well. I started by melting down some mango butter, cocoa butter, the emulsifying wax, which is what allows the water and oils to mix together, the acetyl alcohol, which is a thickener and stabilizer, and I used some vanilla infused sunflower oil that I had on hand. I melted these down and then measured out my preservative and vitamin E oil separately. And once the butter and oil mixture cooled, then I added the preservative and vitamin E. Sugar scrubs can obviously get water in them if being used in the shower or bath. So a preservative really is a must. It's not something you want to skip out on. The vitamin E oil is an antioxidant and it kind of helps the oils and butters to last a little bit longer. I wouldn't say it's a must, but it does help. Now you can completely use just the butters, oils, and sugar to make a perfectly moisturizing and exfoliating sugar scrub. But adding, again, that emulsifying wax, acetyl alcohol, it really does help to round out the sugar scrub, creating just a better texture and, again, doesn't leave your, your skin with like that oily film in the end. Lastly, my daughter, she is obsessed with bath bombs. And even though I have all the ingredients and tools to make my own, I've just struggled to make the time because I know that it'll be an experimentational process for me. So I just decided here to buy a few when I stopped at the dollar store and I can't say she was super impressed with these ones. She has become somewhat of a connoisseur of bath bombs and lets me know exactly what isn't right with each one. If it sinks, fizzes too quickly or isn't pretty, but this was just a really simple way to get these in and I'll definitely be making some of my own in the future. And here we have all of the final items. I absolutely love how they all turned out. I think they're really pretty. Again, I used all jars that I had from around the house and used a very simple label maker. And I just, I hope that this inspired you to make some of your own DIY bath care items. And if not, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. Bye.